sister Know the water's sweet But blood is thicker Oh, if the sky comes falling down For you There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do So we're standing here at uh, Dam Rouge, the last edition in the wonderful court track. How are you preparing for your uh, performance, both of you? Well, I think uh, the most important thing of our preparation today was uh, having a, a nice meal in McDonald's. Uh, I think so too. Yeah, <laughs> that was the most original. We it's, it's uh, the most original thing diet, we did today. But, uh... Yeah, we don't care about his diet today. <laughs> okay. So tonight we're just gonna have fun, and our yeah, actually our preparation was just oh. him dieting two weeks. And me just like, I don't know, not drinking for one week. And so we went, we went to a special snow trip yeah. last week. Yeah. So yeah. it was a good preparation, I think. Yeah, we actually had um, two big shows in France, in Les Arts, um, for snow break. And um, yeah, we actually could, could see that as a, a big rehearsal for tonight. Because tonight the show is, uh, the, the crowd is even bigger. So yeah, we're kind of even more excited than we were two weeks ago. Now, of course, uh, Modest versus Fosco. It's a new concept. How did you guys meet? <laughs> at a local pub. <laughs> <laughs> local pub, the Viking pub. at Ghent. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I am, I was, and I am still a DJ over there. And uh, I met him with uh, one beer or two beer, I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually uh, a client, a regular client over there. So um, um, yeah, we just met there. I like the way he was spinning the, the turntables. So. Um, I just, we, we, I think we, we drank something together. You went to see one of my shows yeah. with another band I play in. Um, and 
I I already knew that he could he could DJ very well. So then we just started in, I, in his room. Actually, uh, the story the story started. Yeah. I was on a ski trip and I saw a little bit like the same act, but not so commercial like us. And um, I was thinking, I was telling my girlfriend, I want to do that too. I want to do something live. And she was like, Hey, you know somebody like that? And I was no, no. <laughs> she said, Think a little bit. And one hour later, it came. Oh yes. Bram. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the story. Then I called him. I told him, Bram, uh, I have to speak to you. So uh, that's the story. Now, of course, um, there are a lot of plans, big plans coming ahead. Um, you just had snow break. You're performing here tonight. What do you expect from the crowd? Uh, because you, you offer, of course, a unique concept. Um, some things a lot of DJs don't do. Uh, they just play the regular stuff, you know. Um, how can you? Um, notice that you're, you're standing out of the crowd is it do you notice the crowd responding differently or um i think yeah. we try to um uh, we try to to start very softly and and unnoticed on a way um it's norm i sometimes we start with a big show but normally we're we're starting with um yeah with with, with muddy's who's just turning a little bit just playing some records and then when we feel the right moment, when the crowd is right, we start with some some Mostly cooler, some house. calmer numbers. Uh, yeah, Mostly deep house, deep house, and he do the vocals on it. Yeah. But they are all well-known vocals, like uh, songs of Outkast, Miles Barkley. People know notice them, but it's not like uh, they're already going to party, party very hard. So we, we I, yeah. always when I play, uh, like DJ2, it's always with a warming up for myself. So, uh, and at the... And of course we end wow. up with a bang. With a bang, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. the last half hour is bang, bang. Or at least we try to, but every yeah. show is different. Every yeah. crowd is different, every every vibe is different. So so that's why we, we, we kind of like the challenge. I, I'm, I'm speaking for myself, I like the challenge with the crowd. I like to uh, see how far I can take them. Sometimes I take <laughs> them a little bit too far and but I'm the victim still, of it. There's but still underage teens here tonight, yeah. so uh, yeah, yeah. don't go too far. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> still. But, you know, you know, DJing has is, is changed the last years. It's like uh, doing a, a performance like you are a group. Everybody stands looking at you. When I played 10 years ago, everybody was dancing. Now they all look at you. They look like on the performance. That's why it's good that, that I have him. <laughs> because then, then he, then he, uh, he, he takes, he takes the crowd with him. When he goes to the right, everybody looks to the right, but they are still interacting Enjoying, with him. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it's it's a little bit different sometimes. Again, it depends on the crowd. It depends on the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, um, it's a regular question I always ask, and it's always fun to hear those uh, first responses. But do you still remember that very first record you ever bought? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. First record I wanted buy, wanted to buy was uh, Underworld, uh, but they didn't have it at store, so yeah. I bought a cheap remix of it, <laughs> and uh, it wasn't good at all. <laughs> but the second record I bought was uh, Junior Jack with Isamba. It was uh, one of my favorites then, uh, and now there are I think 5,000 records in my. Uh, my room so it was a good start <laughs> a big room a big room uh, uh, no that's a <laughs> problem big room, I, right? need a big room. A big I need a big room actually uh, maybe crowdfunding or something because I want to buy a big villa for my yeah. uh, for uh, my records and I uh, really need a swimming pool yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so everyone just uh, yeah. Yeah, fun, we can live to together that's not yeah. a problem actually no yeah. okay. uh, and for you do you still remember um, um, I actually didn't buy records but I bought cassettes I'm a singer so <laughs> okay. I'm not a DJ uh, my first cassette was the radios on my radio one of still I think that's one of the most interesting uh, songs to listen to one of the most interesting albums to listen to and uh, do you still remember that time when you had to combine a pencil and your cassette yeah because a lot, lot lots of, of times. a lot of kids yeah. a lot of teens here tonight they won't even recognize that when you no, no. hold those two things up yeah so um, but actually we do know what you mean if you yeah. have a pencil and a cassette and you were yeah. occupied for several yeah several, yeah for several, 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 uh, several 15 minutes, minutes yeah. 20 minutes <laughs> yeah it depends on lucky, which song it blocked <laughs> <laughs> now um, for 2014 what can we still expect even more party yeah, we're festivals. trying festivals. Yeah, festivals, small festivals. Um, we would like to play outside Belgium. 
also. Um, we already played like six or seven times in France, so it would be nice to go to the Netherlands or go to Germany or uh, uh, actually rock and roll, we go where the music takes us. That's exclusive to you, boss. <laughs> and um, if you had your unique dream, your unique music venue, festival, what would it be for the two of you? Uh, I would like um, I would like to play on the Coachella Festival. Oh, yeah. I like the Coachella Festival. Um, the biggest venue or, or the most interesting venue for me, I don't know. If there's a microphone and no, there. If there's a microphone and some free beers, it's okay for me. You don't even <laughs> have to have a stage, you know. I uh, I already paid a lot at the beach, but on small parties. Actually, I want to do something when I face the the sun going down in the sun. crowds. Not Ibiza, <laughs> Bahamas, <laughs> Hawaii, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or, No, actually, I prefer uh, the, the west coast of uh, America or oh, Australia, okay. Australia, east coast of Australia. Then, oh, okay, because, yeah. then America, watching the sun. Australia, quite yeah. different. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Australian guys. <laughs> Definitely the accent. We yeah. still love you. <laughs> But yeah, party in the sun on the beach, that's that's my thing. Yeah, yeah. okay. Are you still playing? Or because what? you said uh, partying in the sun, but you're yeah. still playing? Uh, yeah, yeah, drinking, playing, yeah. Really playing. on the sun. And just perhaps the sun. behind the, the yeah, TV sets, yeah. Maybe. I'm burning, <laughs> mostly burning, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, for um, all fans, where can we follow you? Um, um, website, Facebook, Facebook, Twitter? Facebook, Facebook, Metis versus Fosco. Yeah. Metis vs Fosco. Very easy. That's, that's okay. And so for all bookings, all uh, demands on that You matter, can find everything on Mattis vs. Fosco on the Facebook. Okay. So okay. Uh, if you need us, we're Call there. Us. <laughs> yeah. It's like the 18. It's like the 18. Ah, the Cold Busters. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Now, um, I wish you the best of luck, of course, for tonight. Um, we'll do a little interview afterwards to see how things were going, yeah. how you like the atmosphere, how you like uh, the setting, of course, of uh, Dame Rouge for the last time here in Expo. Um, but, of course, thanks again for your time here. And uh, we'll be enjoying your performance. Yeah. Let's hope so. Thank you. Let's hope so. <laughs> I'm going to apologize in advance for my sweat after afterwards, in the okay. interview afterwards. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just me. Can't do nothing about it. Okay, well, so we'll meet each other later on tonight uh, after the after the performance and we'll check out how things went and uh, for now the best of luck. Thank you very much.
so we had uh, of course an amazing performance like we predicted um, you started off slowly but the crowd followed very quickly yeah I think um, we uh, we really wanted to start off slowly this time because uh, we sensed the crowd and you know the crowd was like um, it was very calm in the beginning but at the end it was like just it's it crazy yeah <laughs> I think One we went crazy because of the crowd yeah. you know last but, uh, half hour was, it was a really nice feeling yeah. I'm very thankful but of course like uh, you said the crowd just went crazy um, and it all started with handing out the t-shirts yeah so it's a very stupid but effective trick <laughs> or how do you say it an efficient trick I, I don't know how to say it in English effective in Flemish Effective. Uh, yes, <laughs> very effective. Very effective. It, then, it uh, works. It just yes, works. Yes, yes. <laughs> you will understand what I'm saying. No, it's uh, that trick really works because um, stupid to say, but in times of crisis, everybody likes a free T-shirt. You know? <laughs> and we've got free T-shirts from uh, the board shop Stoked, a board shop in uh, Halle near Brussels, um, and the T-shirts are good quality. So that's really a big advantage to just throw them into the crowd people really take the t-shirt and they know that uh, this isn't a cheap shirt that doesn't cost like 10 euros or something it costs like i don't know a regular t-shirt that we throw costs like 35 or 40 euros so we're happy and we're glad that we can throw these t-shirts and it's a really nice trick thank you very drunk, much if i'm very drunk i also throw my cap also from the shop uh, i'm not drunk right now so uh, it's, it's too early <laughs> It's too just early. Too early. Yeah. It's the fault of his diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he loses 10 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My hair is it's just, is actually just like yours. <laughs> it's filled with lead. It's filled with lead. <laughs> now, um, if you would have to describe tonight um, in, in one word, what would it be? I can only describe it in two words, and those are the two words that I kept on repeating during the show. Crazy effective t-shirts and amazing. No, <laughs> not effective t-shirts. Yeah. Crazy and amazing. Crazy and amazing. It was really for, for me, me. It was for amazing. Me, it crazy. was just amazing yeah. to see the crowd. It's less like uh, a whole night. You see, you you play with the crowd, and wow. we wanted at the end we had them where we wanted them. So it's it was a good show. I gave that girl a free t-shirt of mine. Yeah, it's a free t-shirt. <laughs> Sponsored by R95. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, we, we have the... <laughs> Actually, we don't pay shit. <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's, of course, uh, the marketing trick. Yeah, yeah, that's the marketing trick. Now, um, if you'd have to choose between a festival, a festival more like a, a performance yeah. like this, or, for example, uh, a festival, what would it be? Inside or outside? I don't know. The, the thing is, if you play festivals, you play a, a set of one, one hour, one and a half like here. But at festivals, we have our own uh, special effects. So we have uh, streamers, we have uh, the fire like you see here, but that's not from us. So we, we have a, a t not a time show, but we have somebody with us that, that do everything. Uh, and it's because we don't want to get lost on stage. On festivals, it's mostly big stage. So it's something totally different here you have a party and people people come from from around uh, uh, 8 30 9 and want to stay here all night and at festivals we hope to play always as last so then it's they're already a little bit tired and everything is good and then you have to hold it and the last song has to be all the energy of them so it's totally different the stage is different i don't know yeah i don't know i, I can't even compare um an indoor stage with an outdoor stage or an indoor festival with an outdoor festival okay. the atmosphere is so different the vibe is so different uh, the the way of, of DJing of performing yeah. is different it's um, all because you don't really have the, the the effects you don't have the colors you don't have the lights at day um, okay if you play at night but outside you do have the lights but still that's very it's difficult place to, to, to be yeah. it's a very <laughs> difficult place to be of course as a DJ, as a singer, um, how does it feel when you get the whole crowd singing along your song, <laughs> singing along? When you drop the music, they're all just goosebumps. Yeah, goosebumps. 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 <laughs> really goosebumps. Yeah. You know, I'm, 
Yeah, okay, I, I, I said it. I said it live on stage today, and I, this is one thing that I'm that I'm saying a lot of times, and I'm gonna keep on continuing saying. Um, I wish my mom would have seen this. Sometimes I scream that into the mic. I wish my mom would have seen this, and I really mean that. I just wish my mom would see this. So, mom, I hope you can see this video once or twice. <laughs> My mom is okay, but I lady. know she sees it, so it's okay. Yeah, she's she's, she's already saw yeah, it. She's she VIP, it. she sees everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the same. You know, it's goosebumps. And actually, I always tell everybody I'm not nervous. But that's true, because otherwise they make me, me nervous. But every time when I go, it's like, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Am I going to play good? And then the first time you see hands up in the air you hear them sometimes you you know they start screaming without anything and then it's and like goes. yeah it's like whoa okay that's that's what we want and uh, at the end of the show it's my first time my sister was here to see me okay and i think she was she's gonna be proud of me i don't know but you know it's <laughs> we'll, we'll I, later on. We'll yeah. Yeah. I think she's very off, proud off camera, i think she's camera. very proud yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's it's some yeah it's a special feeling yeah now, um, of course, you, have, you still have another performance going. I have another gig, yeah. So, um, we will just close up this interview. Now, congratulations on a perfect performance. You had the crowd, you had the lights, the fire, yeah. and of course, thank everyone you. was entertained. Thank That's you very much. Important. And thank you, Project Daybreak. Yeah, thank Project you very Daybreak. much. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Hope to see you in the future. Lots of times. <laughs> <laughs>